uh, good morning or evening or whatever it is where you're at. Uh, as you can see by the title, um, I have a question, and I'd like prayer on this from the body of Christ. If you're a supporter of the ministry through financial donations or even just through prayer, you pray for the ministry, then I would really love for you to pray. If you're an enemy of the ministry, watch obsessively and make videos about it or, you know, just ignore me or whatever, <laughs> whatever you do. But uh, the question has kind of come up with us um, about the efficiency of the ministry. Uh, I did the off-grid thing for us. This is our off-grid property here where I'm walking. Um, Lord's blessed us with a very nice property. And uh, we've been, uh, we were building here on the property, uh, just some storage buildings and we were planning on what to build and where to build and whatever else. And then the pandemic thing happened and that really derailed our plans because the cost of everything went way up to where it was just, okay, this doesn't make any sense right now. We don't have the money to be building with, you know, when you have uh, the cost of a, a board going, you know, quadrupling or something. And so we've been holding off on that and then the Wolfton thing too and a lot of stuff like that. Um, but I'm, the debate is there now. Um, should we move back on grid again so that I can be there a lot more for answering comments and, and uh, doing videos and online stuff and whatever else. I mean, it's what I do for a living. Um, so there's a couple different options right now that we have been discussing and uh, I would like uh, prayer on this just the Lord would show us what to do and you can certainly make suggestions if you want to that's fine but mostly what we're looking for is prayer um, and uh, one suggestion would be of course that we would sell this property and our office in town and buy one property that would be on grid and I'm still going to take a lot of our off-grid stuff with us. You know, we'll still have wood stove and, you know, some solar power and whatever. But uh, that would be one option. Uh, problem with that option, of course, would be to buy one property. You know, I can't really sell everything and then look for some place because where would we go while, you know, the properties are sold. So there's that. Another option, of course, would be to try and build something on our property. That would make us connected to the internet. Um, issue with that is there's no electricity uh, coming to this property or out on the road. So we would have to spend probably tens of thousands of dollars. I think my wife figured it up a few years ago, their cost and whatever else for um, the electric company here in Maine. Um, it would probably be between 30 and $40,000 just to get electricity run to the property here. The distance that we'd have to go running electricity um, so that's a little cost prohibitive in my opinion um, so there's that uh, you know to get it here and whatever else to this property and then of course you'd have the cost of a drilling a well and whatever which a neighbor told me the one time that um, the wells because we're up very high right here elevations pretty high and uh, there's a lot of rock and whatever underneath us and he said that uh, typical well depth is about 400 feet up here so that would get expensive as well as well uh, <laughs> so what are the options uh, then another option would be um, to try to find a low-cost on-grid house that we could buy uh, again you know back in 2019 you could get a place for you know, a pretty nice place for under $100,000. Now, you know, the whole housing market bubble thing that happened during the scandemic just pushed the price of housing to insane levels where it does, doesn't even make any sense anymore. You know, people asking hundreds of thousands of dollars over the assessed value of a property because, um, you know, Zillow and a, a bunch of other companies, um, you know, came out and inflated the house prices and whatever else and the whole scam that happened. And everybody's, you know, working from home now so they can, you know, move out to the countryside and, you know, and the cost of housing goes up and people are offering all the money 
over the asking price and I have never ever paid more than the asking price for any property I've ever owned uh, it's crazy I've always offered less than what they're asking that's just kind of a standard thing you know so those are the different options that I can see um, you know and we're open to moving to another state as well we love Maine uh, it's where my son was born and uh, and my son that's here walking towards me there he is so um, you know we love the state of Maine we'd like to stay in the area but uh, as far as the Wolfton thing too let me just say this um, it's not really looking so good for them at this point from what we can discern uh, there has been uh, some definite backlash from some of the stuff we brought out and uh, mostly from your prayers and so thank you for praying about that whole situation uh, at this point in time even if they would get their way to come and mine in the area it's still going to take so many years for them to even get the thing developed and to start mining so you know they're getting in towards the time of Jacob's trouble starting so highly <clears throat> I highly doubt at this point that that's ever going to really be a problem for us um, but again you know I want the, what the Lord what his will is for our lives and um, we have been praying fervently about this what should we do um, you know just to explain you say why can't you just continue with what you're doing well um, if you want to take a shower you go into your bathroom you take a shower boom done if we want to take a shower we have to drive seven miles that way to go to a spring to get the water then we go down to the office where the uh, bathroom is um, with the shower and you know thing um, we don't have any shower capability here on the at our off-grid location and then I have to put the water into a bucket and I put a little heater in and the electric heater and it heats the water the immersion heater it heats the water up and then we can take a shower you know with a battery powered shower thing you say why don't you just use the on-grid you know it's an on-grid place why not just use the water well because it's fluoridated and chlorinated and I don't really feel like bathing in uh, toxic water so that's kind of the issue um, you know and that's just a shower so you know what normally would take people uh, just a few minutes you could hop in the shower and be done in 10 or 15 minutes well it takes us a while to do and laundry you know again going to the spring getting the water um, we do have some side hill seep springs on this property Let's switch arms here um, and we do have that uh, but uh, we don't have it actually you know a pipe in it or anything coming out and whatever and even if we did it still is a matter of you know having to do that whole thing um, look at this snowshoe hair tracks here let me see if I can get this on video pretty neat to see this yeah put move your hand there's my hand beside it so it's pretty big about the size of mine yeah about your hand size and you can tell it's a snowshoe hair because they do the hopping thing there's the two front uh, feet or paws or whatever and then there's the two rear ones right there and then so, up there again yeah there and then again. going back through so they they kind of hop like that two front paws go in and then the two back come out so the big one um pretty neat too i mean they they just barely even sink in unless they really jump but if they're just kind of walking slowly they really you know have great flotation that's why they call them snowshoe hair but uh but they so snowshoes. yeah their feet are natural snowshoes huh uh -huh. yeah um so if you could just please pray for us that the lord would make it crystal clear um like i said certainly give me your advice give me your thoughts um but just we want direction from the lord what does he want for us um it would be nice to have everything on one property but again that costs a lot of money and you know uh, we don't make that much money so uh, which we're fine with you know okay whatever but uh 
hopefully you know what I'm saying. So um, please give me your thoughts. And most of all, please do pray that the Lord makes it very plain for us if we should move back on grid and uh, so we can increase our efficiency in ministry. That is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you in advance for your prayers.